What up, everybody? It's your boy Undam is playing. It's a skinny jeans on TV. Do on Disky. <laughs> Guys, it's the MTN8 final. It's Orlando Pirates versus Bloom Celtic. I'm excited to do a preview of this game because there's so much happening. There's so much of stories happening here. I mean, the form of the two teams. Let's just, let's just go straight to that. Pirates is sitting in number four in the DSCV Premiership. Pirates is scoring more goals, but also conceding more goals. So if you look at the ratio of goals scored and goals uh, defended, it's quite crazy, which says to me that Orlando Pirates at the back has got a problem. What's going on? What's cooking oil? It's got a problem because the defense sometimes is just always ball watching. Uh, we never know who's doing what. Uh, Utaisen is always consistently there, but I think if Pirates at the back, that's really a Also, Orlando Pirates comes in, listen to this, they come into this cup, the last time they won a cup was in 2014, think about that. They've had, they've had eight defeats in nine cups, so Pirates has been chasing cups, they've been wanting to win uh, local cups. But it seems not to be happening. Six years ago, if you're a big team like Orlando Pirates and you haven't won a, a cup, it's quite, it's quite depressing. Uh, so we need to figure out, will Pirates win this match? I think they'll do. On to Celtic, 14th in the log. And I mean, their record is also quite uh, a bit dismal. Four goals and they've let in seven. But the one thing about Celtic is that Celtic has been in cups many more times. So if you look at uh, two years from now or two years before, Celtic has been in more cups final. I mean, the last time they got thrashed by Sundowns, uh, which tells us that John Maduga knows what he's doing for a cup this long is no joke. So if we had to look at Pirates winning the cup, what this means, it means that I'm a Paranir, Azo Jabula, happy people once again. It means that the stars that we've been investing in, Abo Vincent Pule, Abo Lepasa, who would have had a great game, and Nuzin Bao would have been the coach to take Pirates out of the darkness. So the Sea Robbers, I mean, because they've won it, it means that they would have had an amazing time. On the Celtic front, Celtic is going to prove if they win this cup that they are very much of a cup side. I mean, being 14th on the log and winning a cup, that's unheard of. But if Celtic wins it, I think it's going to be a boost. It's going to be a morale. And if you look at these two teams and how they play, it does give you a story that they're going to be scoring more goals, but the defense is going to be the decider. So that's my preview. If I had to make a prediction... And if I had to put my neck on the line, I give it to Orlando Pirates. I give it to them 2-1. I think Ule Pasa is going to score. But I think uh, Celtic is going to come back and score again. And maybe very quicker. I think who's going to score first? I think Celtic is going to score first. But I think Vincent Poole is going to have the game of games. I think he's coming into form that we've always wanted him to be in. And I really think that Pirates is going to win it. And if I'm wrong, it's going to be the second time I'm wrong because I actually called Chiefs to win against um, I I Black Leopard and look what happened. It became a draw. So I hope it doesn't end in a draw, but I really believe that Pirates, this is their cup. I think Pirates fans have been waiting for it. I think Uzin Bawa has played it beautifully with the squad selection and having players that have won. The other thing is that Tyson has won cups with Vitz as well. So Tyson is going to come and inject new energy into the training room, which is what these Pirates players actually need. On the Celtic front, I think it's just going to be about grinding for a result. I think it's going to be about grinding and making sure that they win. So let me know what you think. Do on Disky. It's the preview. It's MT8.